kachi mata chuchu ya tawi tarangi kya yo mata hove kahe ke ho mai ki ru ya rangi tu hi hume ki apa pachi ru ya ta ko tabe nga cho mari hulu no tene au ta fa ka mi hi atira ki aku tu na ki fa ka tai mai tu ku tu waro waro kai wi ni ma tu tu mi ru chu ti tu mi ru te wa ma ka pu ta chu nei ya ma tu o nga chi ku ya ti wi pa ko he te wi ka re ke ti fa ya te o ma ra ma ha u ye hu ye ta ki One um, strength that I followed and uh, kept in back of my mind was the words of my uh, Toro Mahana Kereopa who in uh, 1883 said in the Murray Land Court, in defending the rights of the Kuruhapo, he said, my father was never captured and made a slave, nor I. Because we weren't allowed to talk now in that school. You could say, oh, hey, oh, and then he'd come around and smack you in the ears of the teacher, and they'd get away with it, they're allowed to do it, you see. And mum, my mum used to, she was learned in Maori, She'd go bop, 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 and we'd, I'd always say to her, Mum, if you speak French, I'll listen. And I said, we're allowed to talk French, but we're not allowed to talk Maori. <laughs> well, it's true, you see. You know, we are known as the humble tribe down here, Ngāti Kuia. We've never tried to take leadership roles in anything. We've always stood at the back. We were with the, the uh, hunters and gatherers of the kai when we had tangi. We were the, um, the ones in the kitchen, doing the mahi, never up front. Ngāti Kuia, he iwi Karakia, are one of the largest and oldest iwi of Te Tauihu o Te Waka a Māori. Uh, mā tau nei nā kanohi o rā tau kua hei e te pō. Mā mā tau nei e kawea mai a Ngāti Kuia ki te ao. E ako e nā. It is about looking after our people. It's about giving service. It's uh, about being um, caring and upfront. It's being not afraid to stand up and speak your mind, but to also make sure that we don't do wrongs, that we do rights. Te Tupuna Matua Hautere, a descendant of Kupe, came to Te Tauihu in his waka te hoere, guided by their tribal kaitiaki, Kai Kai Yawaro. There's a sense of pride now that we've rebuilt things. The shared whakapapa that we have now, uh, and the pride that we have in you know, our past, you know, our past, present and will be the future, uh, uh, will be will be a place of pride, and, and a, there'll be a sense of pride instilled in our, our rangatahi. Um, with as long as we can maintain things through education, and uh, not just wānanga anymore. Ngāti Kuia descendants settled in a number of locations across Te Tauihu, including Te Hoere, Whakatū, and Te Tai o Aurere. Ngāti Kuia are known as the poorest people in the nation. And, and we were, we were, we were very, very poor um, people. But before my time, even, uh, you know, I know that they had, a lot of our people were treated very unfairly, you know, down south. Um, uh, a, lot of, a lot of them suffered illnesses that, that weren't, weren't treated. They, uh, the nurse didn't bother to, to look after them. They had some real hard times, especially the ones down the sounds. A lot of people had, um, they had two busy lives to actually be involved with iwi at the beginning, but now they're getting they're all getting involved now, you know. Uh, all the ones like um, Auntie Manu and um, the other ones that I feel sorry for, you know, Auntie Manu and Auntie Nell and um, Auntie Edna, 
uh, Uncle Tommy, um, Uncle Jim and Auntie Vi and all those, um, all those old people that have gone on. Pakohe is unique to Te Tauihu and synonymous with Ngāti Kuia. It forms part of their identity as a niwi. Ko tēnei taonga, uh, hoi nā te iwi Pakohe he ki anga uh, nō tata, tata nei tērā te iwi Pakohe i mua uh, ko te iwi Karakia. Uh, e hara te mea he rereke uh, anā te kue i ngā iwi kato o te Aotearoa me te Waipau namu. He iwi Karakia tātou katoa. Much like their tūpuna, who used ingenuity, creativity, patience, and a willingness to work hard in order to shape toki, Ngāti Kuia draw their inspiration from Pākohe. For me, um, wearing he taonga Pākohe is like um, that, a piece of te tōihu. So we, 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 we carry, so we may travel over the whenua, but we keep that piece of te tōihu and that, and that connects us to our whenua and also connects us to um, our, our tūpuna. Ko te pākohe, te tahu o e nā, nā taonga e tuku i humahira. Pera ki te pākohe e rā, he pōhatu mai tai, tīnu māro ki, tīnu māro te pākohe. He rereke ki te rā, te mauri, ko te pākohe ki e rā atu o nā. Ngāti Kuia are renowned fishermen and harvesters of titi. E ko rangi turu turu e ko rangi tāmo e tu te rangi taku waiho. Ko te pō o te whakatino, ko te pō o te whakatoko, ko te pō o te parapara. Ko i ara e rongo mātā ne hukiti a ue. They are also known as he iwi karakia, spiritual people in relation to their natural environment. He iwi i e tino mōhi o tēa ake nei uh, tō mātou tai au. Uh, a tangaro ki tai, tangaro ki uta, uh, tāne mahuta, uh, ngā maunga, uh, ngā ara e hono atu ki te nuinga o ngā topito o te waipaunamu, uh, ko ngā dikui a tērā. Nā reira, he kaha nei mātou uh, ki te whakaai o te moana, uh, whakaai o anō te whenua, uh, mōhio ana te nā tohu tohu o nā kapua, uh, era a huatanga. Although many of the iwi live in different rohi of Aotearoa, Ngāti Kuia still continue to thrive and live in te tauihu, from te hoere through to their traditional customary areas. I wrote it to we who lay. Quite your tone. Quite your tone. Grow on at the way on the matter in a magic quick tail. Cassimata matter kit fight tail. Carol with the hour on magic queer. Along with the poor on magic queer. Their affairs and settlement assets are managed by Te Runanga o Ngāti Kuia Trust. All the various trust board members we've had over the years, the directors on the company, um, they all put in a lot of tireless work and effort to make our iwi organisation um, the way it is, the success that it is, but also all the whānau who have said, yeah, count me in. I'm stepping up, I'm stepping in. Um, that whole being the kotahitanga out of our iwi, um, to be able to rise in those moments when we needed people to step up and stand up and sing and be together and show unity. To say, well, I agree, I agree, I disagree. You know, to have their voice, to use their voice, to give us strength to use our voice. Just like the Take special recognition for Tuya. Tuya Kiroma, Tuya Kiroto, Tuya Kiroto, Tuya Kiwaho. 
the nature of binding things together and holding them fast. Binding them from above, binding them from below, binding from the within, binding from away. Bringing it all together. Whakakotahi tanga. Working together to get things done. You know, Ngāti Kuia Tanga, te He Tangata, He Tai Ao, and He Putia. You know, it's, it's a collective of, of, of Po that, uh, you know, and it could be considered the four, four cornerstones of your whare. You know, that they will maintain us within it. You know, and, and it's like Tuia, you know, it's sort of like you know, above, below, you know, Tuia ki runga, Tuia ki raro, Tuia ki roto, Tuia ki waka. You know, it's, it's, it's encompassing of, of all of our people and all of our mātauranga, uh, learning from the past, living for the future. In 1839, the New Zealand company signed deeds with Māori that purported to purchase the entire northern South Island. Ngāti Kuia were never consulted. We knew that there were, you know, we had lost land, but we hadn't quite f figured out all of, all of these grievance types of things. And then realising that we had had all this land and 80% of it, the Crown took off us and leased to themselves and got us to sell the land to the people that we leased to. And that's why we were so poor and why we were so landless. It was, uh, it was the government who had done it to us. In fact, a Crown appointed commissioner in 1844 failed to investigate the rights of Ngāti Kuia before granting land to the New Zealand Company. Ngāti Kuia did not receive any payments for their interests or a share in the Nelson Tents reserves that were set aside from the company's land. We had entered into a one deed of sale with them, and within a year we had disagreements with them about what land was reserved and what land wasn't. And they were saying, you can't have this land, even though you've got a clanger on it, you'll have to buy it back. In 1853, the Crown signed the Te Waiponamu deed with other iwi that purported to purchase all remaining land in the region. Ngāti Kuya was not consulted, not present at negotiations or signatories to the deed. But as negotiators for our, for, our, for our people, our job was to pretty much build up a history, an archive of our history, and take that and, 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 and all of the grievance that come from, say, the sales of 1856, the, the deeds of purchase, and then hold the government to account for all of their inactions. And, um, and we base that quite fairly on, on, on the contract of the Treaty of Waitangi, um, but we were also getting hassles from the other tribes who kept on thinking that, um, you know, um, that we were beaten, that, you know, that we were enslaved, that, that we were things. But you know, some of our tūpuna were very, very strong, and, and one of those strong whakatauti that's always been an inspiration to me and to others is uh, from Kiriopa Mehana. Uh, Mehana Kiriopa, he was a, a leader for all of our tribes. 
in um, you know, his statement saying that his father was never caught and made a slave, and nor was I. That was that was a foundation for us uh, to just carry on, carry on. Don't worry about what those other people say. Just carry on what you think is the best for your own tribe and your own people in this country moving forward. Throughout the 1800s, Ngāti Kuya protested and made continuous claims against the Crown in the courts regarding the devious and illegal purchases of land. These proved unsuccessful and by 1900, Ngāti Kuya was landless. Knowing all those grievances and driving past those places or living next to them every day and then be getting some enlightenment about it and going, wow, actually that's... Um, you know, whole people talked about it, but they hadn't quite really realised it was like that. You know, that was our land, but we never got to use it because it was always being leased. Um, or you know, they, you know, we used to own that land, but then it got sold. Um, and realising that as our people became poorer, and the land, you know, then they used to had to start selling land to survive. So just all those increased pressures and seeing how the Crown manipulated sales, manipulated things so that um, our people did become landless. On the 23rd of October 2010, Ngāti Kuya signed the Deed of Settlement, Te Whakatau, with the Crown at Te Hora Marae in Canvas Town. And ko te kere me a Ngāti Kuia, uh, e hara tonu uh, a Ngāti Kuia anake. Huia no uh, nā te kāwana, te kōrero, me piri atu uh, te hononga o kurahaupo. Kia whaka te mua anō tērā o ngā kōkoraho. Me he mea uh, nō mātau ake, uh, hei rereke. Uh, he re reke. Ngari nga te mea uh, te rā toko toru o rangitāne ki wairau, ngā te apa ki te rā to uh, waihoki ko mātau nga te kuia. He uaua tērā nga te mea he, he whakaaro tō te nga iwi, tō te nga iwi, tō te nga iwi. Uh, ngari ko te mahi uaua kia kapo he ano nga oritetanga, kia waiho nga re reketanga uh, i wahora. He wā ua tērā. He wā anō mātou rai ki te rai. He wā, wā anō mātou uh, ko ahui tahi. I runga i te whakaaro ko tahi. Uh, tērā ahua tanga. Mm. Yeah, the, the claims were a, a very... It was a special time in the history of, of our area and it was a controversial time. That was the first time people started drawing lines in the sand. Um, you know, we were quite lucky to go through hearings and information and gather all of the mātou ranga that we could to put to the, to the government, but all the tribes were looking to, like I say, consolidate their own assets for their own people. So a lot of mamai was brought up in the past from the old Raupatu days, when the Tainui Taranaki group come down to to, to Tauihu in the 1820s. And, um, you know, bringing back those types of things where our tūpuna were, many of our tūpuna were, were killed, our people were taken, our people were alienated from their lands um, but, and pushed into the hills. Um, and, and, or assimilated into other tribes, uh, Māngai. But um, our people were proud and they were strong and they kept defending the, the mana of Ngāti Kuia right up into the 1840s. Um, and then obviously the, the treaty come in and, and things changed quite a lot. Ngātikuia <laughs> In the agreement, 
the Crown apologised to Ngāti Kuia for past dealings that breached the Crown's obligations under the Treaty of Waitangi, for the failure of the Crown to adequately recognise the customary rights of Ngāti Kuia in its resolution of New Zealand Company transactions and its pre-1865 purchases of land, for the exclusion of Ngāti Kuia from the Nelson and Motueka tents, for the Crown's failure to set aside adequate reserves and to ensure that Ngāti Kuia retains sufficient lands for their future needs. Uh, having lived in this uh, valley, my family having lived in this valley since time beyond memory, it's pretty important. And as we say here, with some fondness, centre of the universe. <laughs> What that has, uh, the settlement and all that has given us the capacity and the capability to do things for ourselves. You know, there's a whakatauki. I look and I see. But if I do, I understand. Doing things for ourselves. For the first time. and not kowtowing to anyone. And that's what's come out of all of that mahi, that, you know, the evidence gathering, the fronting at courts, fronting in parliament, fronting in all sorts of forums, presenting ourselves as what's come out of this whole process. That's the real positive. A tuia ki te rangi, a tuia ki te whenua, tuia ki te naka o tangata katoa, ko te mea nui, ko te araha, a te hei mauri ora. Koe rāna, mōhiu ana mātou ki te whakatipukai. Kā rere reke te kreme, ho mai i ngā purupuro te kreme, mā mātou whakatongia. E whakatipu te rahi. Te iti, tai atu ki te rahi. Mohio ki te iwi Māori. Te iti noiho, ngani kia whaka rahi ake, te tipura. Ne. A pera, a mātou nā nei, hei, Kai muti iwi, i a tau i a tau ka piki, ka piki te kaha, te mano o Ngāti Kui. Well, I think one of the things that came out, I think particularly for Ngāti Kui, was about um, our, our sense of who we are, um, and that we all whakapapa to most of the other iwi here. We have multiple connections. Um, but being able to identify what were the things that made us Ngāti Kui and a little more unique. Uh, things like uh, how, how uh, pākohi, use of a tongue like pākohi, stone, argillite. To the stories of uh, how, how we originate. Kui is, originates from the South Island, where the only iwi to originate from the top of the South Island. While every other, every other iwi here migrated here, how Tupuna was born here. Uh, our iwi, uh, our, our tūpuna married into pretty much everyone that, that arrived here um, and that which gives us that relationship with everyone today. Ngā wei whakai 
Te Hora Marae sits at the confluence of the Whakamarino and Te Hoere rivers at the foot of the Maunga Tutumapo. The first buildings were erected in 1990. So I said to her, Auntie Shell, will you give your piece of land for the marae? She said, yes. So that was it. We went for that. A lot of opposition. A lot of our whānau come over from Blenheim, the object because they were owners in there. And after several meetings, <laughs> we finally got an agreement. That's the place. And on that, on that marae, on that um, urupa that day, I stood up because there were other objectors from other pieces that were there. And I said, that's where our marae is going, right there. And I just knew it was going to happen. And it did. He ata hua katoa. Uh, nā kokoru, uh, nā wai, nā awa, nā puke, nā maunga. Uh, he ata hua. Pera anō tō te riu e nohoa nā tō mātou marae o te hora. Hua, he ata hua. The newly refurbished whare was reopened in March 2016 and is named Te Rupe Oruapaka. The new whare kai, Kaya Wahine, is connected to the whare by a covered open space named Te Hoere. Te Hoere Marae, uh, when we used to go out there years ago, it was, it was very, very small um, and not very whānau friendly. You know, um, yeah, but now that we've, uh, and I think we could host probably 30 people inside the whare for, on a rainy day. So now the ability, you know, it's, it's uplifted our mana in, at the marae by being able to manaki people, to hold big events like we held uh, a couple of weeks ago with all of our kaumatua, and we had a, a minister there, we had high level officials from other government agencies, our mayor. Um, it, it was, it's great, it's a sense of pride to be able to bring your manuhuri into a, a really nice place that you've worked for for 40 odd years. Te Hora Marae is a modern complex with a commercial grade kitchen, a dining hall that can seat up to 250 guests and a whare puni that can sleep 50 people. Today Te Hora is the tūranga waiwai of the Ngāti Kuya people. The number one thing you know, that we've always had for our marae eh, is, is, is for our people to come home and that sense of pride when they do get home and they can base, you know, they can base their, their time you know, from the marae because it's always event focused. You know, and you come back, you stay for a week, you might have a whānau reunion, could be tangi, could be wedding, could be 21st. You know, and those are the, those are the things when we see our, uh, our, our, our whānau wanting to hire our marae, even knowing that tikanga comes first, and if, and if there is a mate, then, you know, then, then those have priority, so, but they're always willing to take a second spot to tikanga, and that, that's a, a, another sense of pride and mate ranga that's been instilled into our whānau. It's a beautiful marae. What I love about it is I love the, yeah, the meeting house and then there's got that partition next to it and then you've got the whare kai. And that partition can be used multi-purpose for sleeping or for eating as an overflow for them. And I think, I think a lot of people admire that. that they do. I hear, I hear a lot of people telling me what a beautiful marae that is. Each year the marae now plays host to Ngāti Kuya Weekend where whānau from throughout the motu come together as one. Kātahi te kaupapa. Kātahi te kaupapa. 
Kaupapa Iwi, Kaupapa Motuhake, Kaupapa Rangatira, Hayaha, Hifakatai Ranga, Itewi or Nati Kuya, Inauri or Tene Takiwa. Me no itato, Fakataka de Hauki Duru, Fakataka de Hauki Titonga, Kiama Kinaki Naki Uta, Kiama Tarataki Tai, Ehia Kiana Teatakura, Hetio, Hehuka, Hehohu. Tihei Māori ora. Kua roa mātou i, uh, I kori i whakanui i a mātou. Uh, uh, nō reira mai i te wā i, I whakatau a mātou um, kreemi. Uh, I whakaaro mātou, oh, me, me whakanui anō i, I a mātou. Me, uh, hai, me wā, um, me wā hariko mā tātou. Nō reira tēnei te whakaaro o, o te, te rangi nei. Uh, um, I tai mai au ki te, um, ki te tautoko i te whānau nei, uh, ki te noho tahi i te taho o te whānau, ai, prei kemu e rā mumu, ai, miharo e nei rā mā te whānau uh, me te whanau na tanga hoku. Rawe taku e ki ngā mai, rawe te kite ua, kua fiti mai te rā, nā kua pā mai te wera, kua heke mai a motuhi, nā kua hikaka taku nei pōtiki, te oma oma haere, te peke peke haere, te tākoro ki ngā miru miru e rā momo o ngā āhuatanga. This is good revitalising and giving our rangatahi, our pākeke, our, um, our tamariki, fuse them in so they can understand where, where we are at the future. He pai te whakawhanau ngā tanga, me tarai ngā tangata katoa ki a mau ki tō rātou. This special weekend is an opportunity for the iwi to catch up in a fun environment and to reconnect with each other. Mi haro rau atu. Nā, he tino pai mō rātou ki a haere mai mō tētahi mea haunga te tangi hoki, ne? Uh, ki a ako and ki a whakawhananga no iho. Uh, kaore, he, he, he tikanga i ngā ri tonu. He, he wā mō tēnā, engari he wā ki te tākaro, ki, rote, ki rongi i te marae, he rau i rau atu tēnā. Pai te kite i a kufanaunga, mm. kare anō kia kite, o kia tūtakinga, uh, pai tērā, me te kite i ngā uh, tāngate kōrero i te reo Māori, mm. koe rā te tahi o ngā wawata o ngā te kuea, uh, te whaka rauoro i te reo Māori ki roto i a tātou anō. Me mau tonu ki te reo, me he pai tō mātou mahi, ke te whakawhanaunga mātou tino pai me i miharo tūnei rā. Ah, ko te whanauna tanga te mea nui ki au, um, ai, me te uh, hokinga mai ki raro i, I nga tua nui o ēnei whare ki te ako anō pea i nga hitori o nga tikuia. E ōrāna tōku wairua. E ōrāna tōku tīnana, e ōrāna te ngākau anō hoki i te kitenga mai a, i ngā rahinga o ngā tikuia. A, e hoki mai nei ki te, te marae o te hora, ki te pā o te hora, i runga i te reo karanga o ngā tikuia.
Approximately 60% of Ngāti Kui Afanu live outside of Te Tauihu. In 2016, Te Runanga o Ngāti Kui began the Whānau Whenua Initiative to help support Whānau to return to and utilise their whenua. A key outcome of this initiative was that Ngāti Kui Afanu wanted to learn bee husbandry skills and make honey. Ordinarily I'm, I'm tutoring 10 individuals but with Ngāti Kuri, of course, uh, the guys are related, they know each other, they're working together. So there's a whole different atmosphere in terms of um, background and collaboration. Uh, and I think in beekeeping, uh, that's a magic thing, because beekeeping is not a solitary sport. Uh, beekeeping is something that, that it's good, it, you often need to do uh, as a group exercise. The Runanga set up its own bee apiary at Titi Raukawa and began the first training course in 2017. You can't be good at everything in beekeeping and what often you find is people have talents in certain aspects of it. Uh, so that group collaboration I think in beekeeping um, is a really good combination and that's very evident um, in working with you guys. Uh, it's a lovely thing. I did this bee course because I started off with my grandson um, my grandson is, has, wasn't getting involved in anything and, uh, and so I thought well I'll encourage him to sign up and get onto this course and I'll get onto it too just to carry, take him through it you know, help him and so I, I come onto this course for his sake to, to uffy him while he's on this, on this course. The training is over nine months and is an internationally recognised level three certified course. For me, I got a lot out of this course. I got so much out of it. This is a different world. The bee world is a different world, and it's uh, it's amazing. We can learn so much from this bee world. People in, in general can learn so much about the bee world. The bee world doesn't work for himself. The bee works for the community. Everything the bee does is all comes back to the community. Students build their own hive and put this on their whenua. They learn both at the apiary and at home. The fact that we'll get our own honey, don't have to buy it. Um, yeah, and most of the whānau are joining in now and helping in some way. The practical side of it, fine. The assessments, oh, I actually got an excellent on one of my assessments. It's the first excellent I've ever had in my life. <laughs> in the first year, the iwi produced the best tasting rural honey at the local Nelson Beekeepers Awards in 2018. There was probably about 50 different honeys that were brought along um, and there was a, a commercial beekeeper who came along and he was the, he was the honey judge, he, um, he tasted them all. Whether it was the kamahi or what I'm not quite sure but it did have some X factor in it that made for a gorgeous honey and so that was very pleasing. Whilst the iwi was learning about bees, another opportunity arose in the potential of kanuka. Uh, no, that one. The iwi is now well advanced in developing kanuka as an export product. From trial harvests, the iwi has managed to produce three products distilled floral water, kanuka tea, and kanuka oil. Some, some of them have got a stronger smell, like that, that one might have the same part, you know. 
one might have a song or smell or whatever. But I think it's to do with the height of you know, how, how big the plant is. But um, pretty much is what those, see the tips on is what, probably what we want. You know, anything like that. Ngāti Kuia Kanuka tea has been exported to Taiwan and there is other interest from abroad. Since Ngāti Kuia began the Fano Whenua initiative, many entrepreneurial Fano have come forward. This unprecedented whānau interest saw the birth of the first Makete Poki Whakatū in December 2018. In the future, these markets will provide whānau with the opportunity to test the market and sell their products. In order for Ngāti Kuiya to progress into the future, they are constantly looking to their past for inspiration. As the karakia began and I looked up and the clouds separated and tamarama shone on our kai karakia uh, and tears flowed, uh, I realised that uh, this was a significant day for uh, for Ngāti Kuiya. In July 2018, Ngāti Kuiya launched the Waka Tangata, Te Hoiere. Um, this is a, a very important occasion for us in the launch of the Waka Te Hoiere because it is um, the beginnings of restoring an ancient craft that our people depend upon to survive. Ngāti Kuiya have always been known as seafarers and as a coastal iwi. For Ngāti Kuiya, uh, Waka was a great place to get around into our rohe and in our environment into Tauihu or to Waka Māui. Uh, the coastal area that we have within our sounds is 1800 kilometres. There was many, many Waka and our people used to traverse from Te Tauihu to Waka to Te Upoko in the North Island. Their Waka Tangata, Te Hoere, signified their return to the Moana. He Tangata Moana, He Tangata Whenua. Um, when I, I seen the waka go out of sight and, and head towards Poor Kiki Wharf and then I couldn't see it and, and, I, and I just didn't know what was going on but when I was standing at the end of Pier 3, uh, Pier C and, and, I could, and I could hear it coming back I knew it had achieved of getting, getting most of the way there and most of the way back and I uh, just felt so happy and I could see the crew coming and I felt so proud. Uh, I had my daughter on there, Moana, my cousins on there, our chief, uh, some lead people, um, and, and it was a success. In 2019, Ngāti Kuia commemorated 250 years since their first onshore encounters between Ngāti Kuia and members of the endeavour, including Tupaya and Captain Cook in 1769. This celebration was named Tuia 250. Kukuiwitene <laughs> Kokaura I tūtake atu ai uh, kāpene kuki. Ka haramai a kuki ki, ki te kōrero ki a rātou, uh, ki, ki te whiwhi i te hi taonga, uh, ki te hoko ngā mea katoa, whainoki ngā uh, ika, 
Nā te mea ko tēnei te tino kāpata kai o Ngāti Kuia, ngā momo ika katoa o te moana. Tuia 250 also celebrated Aotearoa New Zealand's Pacific voyaging heritage. He rā whakanui mō Ngāti Kuea, mō Ngāti Apo ki Tarato, mō Rangi Tāne. Mō tō tātau karangatanga ki a Te Atiawa. Ko e tahe he kōro e pāne ki Te Atiawa te whakatuhera te whakatau te nei ata e tino pai tēna. He hāla. It was an opportunity to hold honest conversations about the past, the present, and how Ngāti Kuia navigate their shared future. Ko tau ki uta te mahitahi, a ngā iwi nei. Ahakoa kua tukituki nā rai, i mua i te rā nei, tēnei rā kua tūtahi mātau. He rā whakanui tēnei nā te mea, tēnei te takewa o Ngāti Kuia, arā ko te whenua. In ka haramai i nei uri o rātou i roti i tēnei kaupapa nunei o tuia, hei tuia tātou kato i tēnei wāhi. Aha koa te tino pauri i roti i te ngākau nā te mea kāri i konei ngā uri o i naia nei, ka hoki mai mātou ki te tautoko te kaupapa o tuia. Ai, he pai. Nā te mea, ko te ingoa i kōrero, i whakamarama, tui, 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 tuia. Ko tuia nā iwi o te tauihu, ko tuia nā tāngata o te hāpuri, ko tuia hoki ki ngā whanaunga no te mana nui ākiu. Ah, what's it to be? In 2020, Ngāti Kuia formed Hetoki Pākohe, a mātauranga strategy for 2025 and beyond. It is guided by the Iwi 25-year strategic vision. Hetoki Pākohe, our mātauranga strategy, is based on five key priority areas identified by far. Whakaaro tau tuatau, nā tauranga marae. This strategy is to ensure that our Ngāti Kuia marae are flourishing and thriving, whilst acknowledging the wealth of skills and knowledge within the iwi. Whakaaro tau tuarua, mā tauranga ao Māori. Our aim is to assist the whānau of Ngāti Kuia to be strong in our unique cultural identity through the fluent and proficient use of te reo o Ngāti Kuia me o Ngāti Kuia. Whakaaro tau tuatoru, mā tauranga amitū. To help Ngāti Kuia become successful learners, to succeed as whānau of Ngāti Kuia, and to accommodate this through multiple learning pathways. Whakaaro tau tuawha, mā tauranga pākī. To be able to ensure that Ngāti Kuia whānau are well supported to become successful and skillful people. Whakaaro tau tuarima, mā tauranga orama. As an organisation, we must provide Ngāti Kuia whānau with the tools to live according to their aspirations. 
These strategies use a phased approach that builds on the strong iwi foundations already in place, focused on a few things and doing them well. Te pai tawhiti. Te pai tawhiti, te iwi o Ngāti Kuiya will be able to fulfil all roles at the marae. We will use Te Reo Māori fluently and frequently. Ki ngā tamariki mokopuna. Our people will be successful in all learning places. They will be supported in choosing their career paths and our people and whānau will be healthy and well. And we will once again be connected to our whenua. Maranga mai e te iwi ngā tikuia. Hei wi karakia. Hei wi pakohe. Ti hei mauri ora. O mohi o te ao kato ngā tikuia. We want to be careful. If I can hear hear my thing, I will try to chip in a quarter. Unga mukupuna, unga tamato ikitara mane. We've achieved a hell of a lot. We've got a marae that we should be proud of. We've got a, a yeah officers that we should be proud of. We've got staff and um, trustees that I could not see no conflict or anything there. They're just, um, just amazing. It's probably that modi that I want the most to survive in our people. It's about being comfortable on who we are uh, and being able to pass that on to generations that are coming. For me. I can say that I'm following in the footsteps of my tūpuna and continuing uh, that mahi into modern times and with that mahi uh, stays alive the, the kōrero uh, and, and the whakapapa of us as uh, iwi Ngāti Kuya. It's, it's great now to see you, you go to a marae now and you see all these young ones are getting up and doing them all the speaking. But it's good to have those young ones because got a, their voices are stronger than the old ones. But it seems to be going all right now, and it? it's sort of it's panning out all right now. So good. Life is short. Life is great, um, and sharing and caring is a uh, it's a great thing. Kotahi tanga, mahi tahi, uh, the tonga tuku iho of uh, of us all. Pirangi ai ki te tuku mahi ki te runga o Ngāti Kuiya i a rātou kaha ki te ki te uh, tākuha, te aroha, ki te whānau nei, ki te piki a mātou e reo. Kia kaha ki a mai a tātou. Uh, e hara i te huarahi mā mā tēnei huarahi. Engari e hara hoki i te huarahi hō. Uh, nō nā whakatipuranga. Mai tu a o tātou tūpuna e koutere mai i hoaiki rāno. He uaua. Uh, ka noho tonu e rā uaua tanga ki runga i a tātou. Uh, me piritahi ki o tātou whananga o iwi ke, uh, ko tahi anō te huariri, mai anō, mai anō, e hara ko tātou. E tā tū ka alawa ki a whakarungu mai o mātou i noi i tēnei wā. O huki ngā mea ki a koe māu nei whakapua mai i rote a koe te whitinga tanga mai o te toi o ngā rangi. O te rā e i o Ke whakatau mai te aji o rangi i runga i a rangi rau ko papaturu ki a mātou ngā uri whakai e ke iho nei. A ngā tikuia te iwi pākohe, te iwi karakea, te iwi pumai ue rotu i te tauihu o te oka māa, i te pai au te au mārama, haumi, hui e, tāki. Oh